So we're gonna show you guys here one of the most common causes uh, of horses really having behavioral issues with the bit. It might be tossing their head, uh, they can do a lot of different things, they can rear, but basically a horse that's showing some type of discomfort in the mouth. And it's something that's very easy to fix, but it's also very easy to miss. So we're gonna show you what it is right now. So this is a canine tooth right here. This is normal, male horses tend to have these. Sometimes people confuse that with a wolf tooth, but it's not, it's just a canine tooth. Okay, right here we have a little bump. Um, you almost can't hardly see it visually. You can appreciate it a little bit. This is a blind wolf tooth. This is a wolf tooth that instead of erupting vertically and coming into the mouth, it's erupting sideways, almost like you hear about like a wisdom tooth on a person. And this is the number six tooth, which is really, uh, it's a big premolar and that's a totally normal tooth, okay? So that's the first big cheek tooth. So the problem with blind wolf teeth is, their blind wolf teeth are little bitty teeth that are vestigial teeth that horses used to use millions of years ago that a full extra premolar but now it's a tiny little tooth, almost like one of ours, so it's very shallow rooted. And what happens is normally they erupt vertically into the mouth, but in this case, it's erupted sideways, and that's why we call it a blind canine. It hasn't erupted in the mouth. These are very, very painful because they pinch the tissue between the bit and the tooth, and that causes a lot of pain and reaction, and they're very easy to miss clinically. So the, the way that you can find these without ever missing them again is if you're on the right side, you use your right hand, left side, you use your left hand. So I'm gonna use my right hand, and this is not for horse owners to do, don't get bit, uh, but for veterinarians or dental technicians out there, use your right hand, and I'm gonna put my thumb in here and I'm gonna palpate along the bars. And when I do that, I can feel a massive bump right here that doesn't exist on the other side. That's literally all you have to do, and you should do that on every single horse you work on the first time, and that way you make sure you never miss a blind wolf tooth. So for this guy, he had a history of having some issues with contact on the bit, and we palpated that, found a wolf tooth, we know we're gonna be able to help him. Mm -hmm.